let me start with my favourite subject, me. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, I used to work for a company, a consultancy called Touche Ross. Now, Touche Ross merged with Deloitte to form Deloitte and & Touche, and then became just Deloitte. And as Anna has said, in, back in 1987, I launched a recruitment company with my colleagues Mike Beamont and Caroline Thomas. We called ourselves BLT. And see what we're doing there? Very clever, huh? We were the first recruitment company in the UK to specialize in hiring management consultants. So we developed inch-wide, mile-deep expertise in the management consultancy sector. Indeed, when we started off, we didn't talk about the big four firms of accountants and consultants. We talked about the big 10. And the strategy houses were relatively small operations in London at that time. But over those 30 years, what I've been doing all day, almost every day, is talking to people like you who want to get into consultancy in the first place, talking to experienced consultants who want to move from one firm to another, and talking to experienced consultants who are fed up with consultancy and want to get out. And why, you might ask, would they be fed up with consultancy? Well, I'll touch on that a little bit later. And I'd also spend my time talking to hiring managers and partners and directors of firms, asking them what they were looking for in new entrants to consultancy and synthesizing all that information to be able to provide it to people like you. You know, I think management consultancy is the best possible choice for you once you graduate from business school. And when I left BLT last year, retired, I decided I would carry on evangelizing for the management consultancy sector by speaking at universities and business schools and on webinars like this one. So why do I say that management consultancy is the best possible choice? Well, think about it. What other career could give you the opportunity to see a wide variety of issues in a wide variety of organizations and you get to work on the problems that keep the CEO awake at night? How could cool would that be? So there we are. That's a little bit about me.